get my powdered sugar here. Roll out a Okay, now at this point, let's peel that off the surface. And I'm going to use my spatula, my palette knife. Make a little square or triangle or rectangle, a shape. Now here's the magic tool. This is a piece of cover for fluorescent lighting. And sometimes you can get them broken out of the barrel at like Home Depot. They'll just give them to you. Sometimes you have to buy it for a small fee. But this is, all that is, is the cover for fluorescent lighting. Wash it, of course, especially if you got it at Home Depot so it doesn't have sawdust on it or something. Then I want to powder sugar that, get my powdered sugar there. Let's just do a little press. And I want to kind of press it in. And voila, look at that, a blanket. Isn't that great? Now one thing I like to do is on, I didn't cut that very straight, so let me cut it a little straighter. That's pretty good. It does not have to be perfect because it is a blanket. And it's gonna be, but on one, see I have the press side and this side, what I wanna do is I wanna press it along the edge here so that when I tuck in that baby and fold back the blanket, I have it printed on both sides. But before I tuck in my baby, I want to take, did I give you guys a wooden skewer? Yeah, okay. I did not give myself a wooden skewer, so I'm gonna use another, another thing here. Um, what would also work is like the back of a paintbrush. So what I want to do is I'm holding this in my hand next to my finger and I'm rolling back and forth with either my wooden skewer or the handle of my paintbrush or one of these high-end fancy tools. And you can see what a difference a high-end fancy tool makes. None that I can see. It's all in the technique. Oops, try not to have it stick to you. And then I'm just gonna ruffle it back and forth and that's gonna give us our little ruffle along the edge of the blanket. Because little babies always have ruffles. Don't they? Yeah. These little babies are great if you build a little bassinet and then you can have ruffles on the bassinet and then have the blanket go over it and tuck the baby into the bassinet. And It's just that the bassinet and all that was a little more advanced than what I wanted to go into today. So. Now I've also been shown that you can do a ruffle by putting it on the surface and if your hands are hot, this is maybe the way you want to do it and do it like this. But you have to keep lifting. I find it easier to do on my finger. But it's up to you how you want to do your ruffles. And let's 
Let's give a little ruffle over here. Okay, now then, we got our blanket ready. And I'm going to use the same brush that I brushed the purple off. I want to brush off that excess powdered sugar. 